Here's just one example of how hard it rained in Greater Grand Forks last night and into this morning. This driver apparently took a wrong turn down the sidewalk into University Park last night. They got out okay, but the car is now pretty much worthless. So, exactly how much rain did we get around the region? Here at the office, we got 4.73 inches during the 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. time frame. We measure our yep. rainfall every six hours. Kay. And then we had another over half an inch on top of that. So our total for the night was 5.29. All right. So that was the whole total for, for the night. Was it kind of quite a few areas to the east and west and, and north that had that? Uh, we were one of the higher points. Uh, we did hear some reports up by Roosevelt of over six, seven inches. Okay. And we've had some unconfirmed reports up here in town, closer to the Red River, of over six inches. And from the water in my basement at home, that's probably the case. Oh, your basement got flooded? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. sorry. <laughs> Throughout the night into early this morning, it seemed like the rain would never stop. So, how unusual is this for September? It's somewhat unusual, but it's not unprecedented. Uh, we had, just in 2016, a very heavy rain event in early September, occurred um, September 4th of 2016, where okay. there was also quite a few roads closed due to flooded roadways and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so it, it, it is somewhat unusual, but not, not unheard of. But for folks cleaning out their basements in Grand Forks today, it is unwelcome. Here's one last shot. This is another car that floated down the street by University Park and ended up in someone's yard. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.